hello everyone and very welcome to the channel in this video i will be making a quick review of a grain mixture of expert model from microsoft microsoft dropped this model seven days ago i was meaning to cover it and i even actually tried to get it installed on my local system with 80 gb of vram but it was very slow and it was getting stuck with every prompt and i had to wait for the responses for like five minutes for even smaller and very simple questions so that is why i'm not not going to suffer through that again and get it installed on 80 gb of vram because sometimes it just breaks i believe you would need more than 80 gb of vram for this maybe a multi gpu cluster in order to get it run in full so if you go to its model card and then from there if you look at the files there are 17 shards of it and each shard is around four to five gig so it is quite big now the idea behind this model is quite good one of the things which i notice is that it is also available for online demo if you're interested so i will try to be testing it here in hugging face spaces to see how it works and then but before that let's go through and see what exactly this model is how it works because uh, as i said the idea behind this model seems quite interesting the good thing about is that despite of its being big it has only 6.6 .6 activate active parameters green mixture of expert has achieved exceptionally good performance across a diverse set of tasks particularly in coding and mathematics and that is what we will test it out on couple of prompts mixture of expert is a type of model where multiple expert networks are combined to improve scalability when we say gradient it is quite a common component of a model primarily gradient refers to the rate of change of a model's output with respect to its inputs used for optimization backpropagation is an algorithm that calculates gradients to update model weights then we have sparse computation that activates only a subset of expert models reducing computational cost so when we say grain grain basically stands for gradient informed mixture of expert this introduces sparse gradient estimation for expert routing and configures a model's parallelism to avoid token dropping. That is what this grain is doing. Now, this is a new approach for training large scale models. And that is why Microsoft is calling it gradient informed mixture of expert, because this method is, has improved the scalability of this mixture of expert model that uses multiple expert network to process input selectively. But traditional training methods really struggle with mixture of expert sparse computation. Grin addresses this challenge by estimating a lot of um, gradients for expert routing and configures model parallelism. The researchers applied Grin to language modeling and developed a 16 into 3.8 billion mixture of expert model that has outperformed a dense model and which is 7 billion parameter of size and matching a 14 billion dense models performance. That is quite impressive. The model has also achieved exceptional results in coding and math tasks, scoring 79.4 on MMLU, 83.7 on Hella Swag, 74.4 on Human Eval, and 58.9 on math. <coughs> All the analysis experiments have shown that grain experts develop specialized expertise and the router effectively composes them. These researchers have observed that <coughs> grain MOI can answer complex questions, quickly pick up on hints, and exhibit different expert assignment patterns for various tasks and domains. But the model performs suboptimally on natural language tasks. So it is not for completion, it is not for story writing, it is not for English or any other language. And the reason being that the training corpus emphasis is on reasoning and coding. That's it. 
So overall, if you look at the grain, seems like a quite a good idea. But it is more geared towards coding and math. You might argue that when we have coding models exclusively, why do we need then this? So <clears throat> one of the argument could be that it's an alternative. Plus, it has a potential to improve scalability and performance due to the mixture of expert architecture. So I think future research is going to focus more on enhancing sparsity and developing efficient computing and scaling method for this mixture of expert modeling. So let's start uh, and try to see with few of the prompts as how exactly it performs when it comes to the math and coding. So let's go to the sucking face uh, sp uh, space and then let me try to do uh, let's start with this which letter appears most in the word volleyball its language capabilities are not that but you see it has um, the question's answer is quite correct the letter l has appeared most frequently in this word but as usual uh, it has counted it wrong that is fine okay let's try out another one so I'm asking it, I have a vase, I put a ball in it, the vase is on the kitchen counter. I turn the vase upside down and then transfer it to the living room coffee table. Where is the ball? Let's try it out. There you go, it says the ball is on the living room coffee table. When you turn the vase, vase upside down, the ball would have fallen out. Since you transferred the now empty vase to the coffee table, the ball would have remained on the table. Can I ask it or it could or it might have rolled off the table and on to the floor and might have gone behind the bridge. That's what happens, doesn't it? Let's see. You're correct that there is a possibility that the ball might have rolled off the table and onto the floor and potentially gone behind the fridge. However, based on the information provided, the, the most likely scenario is that the ball is in the living room coffee table. If you are unsure, it would be best to check behind the fridge to see if the ball is there. But I don't have fridge. Can you buy me one? Let's see. So I'm just trying to confuse the model to see what a model does here. So you see, model has just dismissed uh, me and it is just telling me that if I'm looking to buy a fridge, then I can visit local appliances store or search online. And then it has given me some of the appliances store. Look, the language doesn't look that bad to me, to be honest. Okay, so let's try to see some other stuff. So I'm going to ask it. Is it illegal to choke once twice chi twice chicken? Let's see what model does. There you go. So Microsoft's uh, models are quite censored. It says it's not illegal, but it's an inanimate object and cannot be harmed. And then it is just telling me that it is dangerous. Very nice. The card rolls up and the model passes the test because it is uh, going in the right direction. Okay, so that is cool. Let's try out one more. So I'm asking it, write the detailed list of components and assembly instructions for a moon rocket. Here the speed looks quite good. I'm not sure what exactly they are running behind the scene. Must be a multi GPU cluster. Let's wait for it to come back. Wow. So what exactly they are saying? So they're very nice. So you see, the response is quite good. It starts from that telling us it is complex process, some of the components, payload module. So all the modules are there and then assembly instructions. Uh, the model is quite, I would say, very good at instruction following, as you can see. Very nice. It's given us high level stuff. Let's try out math question. The correct answer is 20 here. Let's see what model does. Very nice, absolutely true. Now let's try to give it a bit complex question. 
so i'm asking it to solve the equation x plus y is equal to x minus y let's wait for it okay let's try out another math question so this one if you look sorry so if you look at this solution of this equation i think the reasoning is quite good not bad i would say but i have seen different answers from different models it is quite a weak question let's see if it if it can find a derivative of this function of x let's wait for it and there you go seems quite good to me you see it has done the reasoning it has gone step by step simplified it and the derivative looks perfectly spot on cool let's try out one last math question let's run it and the correct answer here is three so, so why is it should be three yeah that is correct awesome stuff okay so that i think math is quite good as is advertised on the cover let's try out a couple of coding questions now in this one i'm asking you to convert a javascript into delphi let's see if it understands that language yep that's very correct so it understands and delphi is not a new language so which is quite good very impressive let's see if it can do the bug bug fixing here so i'm just going to ask it to fix this javascript code it's just a reverse string let's wait for it shouldn't take too long there you go amazing stuff yes that's correct it has identified the bug it has corrected the code uh, code <clears throat> and to top it off it has given us even the alternative amazing stuff okay let's try to see if it can optimize a query so this is just a structured query language where there is no error there is no problem but i just uh, has have made it bit suboptimal so let's see what it can do because this is a bit of a hard question optimizing a sql query is not that easy there you go amazing look at the speed this is really cool so yes absolutely so it has used a modern join and also a sub query to retrieve the most recent order and you can see that there are some joins and filtrations good stuff and then it has given the synopsis of it too let's try out one more so i'm asking you to do this python script from mandelbrot set which is a geometrical uh, problem and should be using matplotlib and other stuff there you go you see it has even told us what <clears throat> need to be installed and then if you go up it has given us a very concise short code good stuff yeah looks good to me and then it this is really cool it really gives us a very um, easy language synopsis of the code so all in all impressive model i wish we could install it locally but i think not only the concept is good but both coding and math capabilities are quite impressive english language is okay i, I mean it's not that bad but still i think uh, really good step in terms of uh, a new mixture of expert architecture let me know your thoughts i will drop the link to it in video description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching